Hello everyone and welcome back to Matt Part 2. Guys, I heard that someone is soon gonna come visit my shop and they're gonna look at my paintings and then great things are gonna happen. Alright, so we just gotta wait. Dude, you liked me before I had subscribers, huh? Well, okay, fine, whatever. Well, I'm happier now that people like me. Colors are too crazy for me. See, this is what I'm going for here, guys. I've made so many different things, and apparently you just gotta make cross lines. So that's why I did. Look at that thing down there. It's just cross lines. That's good enough, right? Both of these paintings, you got people complaining about crazy colors. So good. Now I just gotta wait for Mr. Dude to show up. Hey, Mr. Dude! Where you at, Mr. Dude? I guess we could paint something else while we wait. I think that'd be a good idea. Saw this one in the Discord right here, guys, and I gotta say... Oh, it's uh, it's real good. I like it a lot. So how about we, uh, how about we get that brought to life, huh? This is just background. You gotta have some background to your paintings. There, there's a few bright colors in there, and now we're gonna put lots of yellow and a little bit of red, and it's gonna be good. Here she comes. What you gonna say? Ho oh, ho! Sorry for all our previous disagreements. You are cool. I know. Here, uh, 97. That's a good price. Thank you very much. Goodbye. That should just about do it, man. This guy's gonna show up any minute. The 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 music is gonna cut out, and he's just gonna walk in. He's gonna be all like, "Oh yes, oh we," or something. I don't know. Homer Simpson is giving off that sick caveman vibe over here, guys. I like it, ooga booga and whatnot. I'm not saying I'm the world's greatest artist or anything, guys, but that doesn't mean this can't be the world's greatest painting. You know what I mean? Ooh. It really sucks when one person complains about colors, but then the person who I'm trying to make the paintings for with these colors doesn't like it either. Uh, yeah, I think that's just about it. There's a, there's a little a couple of grooves in the feet there, and that does it. So this is, uh, uh, this is like Pikachu and Homer mixed together. What's, uh, Homer plus Pikachu? Let me come up with a good name for this. Home, home Pachu? No, no, Pika, Pika Mer, no. Simpson, Simpsons and Pika, Pimp, Pimp, Pimpson. Pimpson. Why not? I don't know if maybe the guy only comes once you make a painting good enough for him. Not really sure how that works. What do you think, dude? What's that? What? Oh, no? Okay. All right. Make fun of that one. Yeah. All right. Well, let me just delete it. Okay? Out my way. I will hump you. I'm, I'm touching your body. Do you like that? Huh? Okay, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Vibrate for me. Vibrate for me. Subscribed, he says. No. Don't you dare subscribe, George. Now you, you over here, you get over here and tell me what you think of this one. Better not hate it. Ah! You know, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm doing it, okay? I am just fucking throwing some shit on a canvas because wasting time is not fun either, all right? And time gets wasted so much when you try and make good things for these people who don't appreciate true art. You know what? H how much can you, oh, yeah, bring the price down. Great idea. Ta-da! This is true art, guys. Let me just add a little bit of purple in the corners, okay? Just the corners! Just the corners, like a frame on a painting. I'm not- I'm not selling you this, so stop. This kind of thing right here, this is all they want. They don't want really anything, they just want... <sighs> lines and shit! Come on, come get it! Come get the lines and shit! The choice of color is a bit too radical. See, guys? Good. Now let's get someone who appreciates radical in here and we'll be good to go. Look at that! Synth wants this one because it's just got it's got stupid shit in it. Ta-da! You're welcome. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add more stupid shit, just balls and lines and all kinds of garbage. Okay, look at this garbage. Look how much garbage that is. And they're gonna love it. They're gonna be like, wow, look at that garbage. This garbage is the garbage I came for. This is what I subscribed for right here. Garbage. Okay, let's see. Let's see if maybe maybe Mr. Mr. Critic guy will come in soon. They said he was coming, but he's not here. Yeah, go wizardry. See? That's all you gotta do, guys. I am not gonna do anything else because it's a waste of time. Garbage has sold for 145 euros. I call this one Dots and Thoughts. But I don't think it's gonna sell because they don't like Dots. But I, I, I can't just keep making the same thing again and again, can I? Yeah, I kinda can. I, I kinda should. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe, you, do you like it? She loves it. This right here proves expression does not require skill. Thank you. That's, thank, thank you so much. Oh, 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 he's coming, guys, but I don't have a painting for him yet, so let me just go ahead, make something really similar to that, okay, we're gonna do some reds, and then, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do some, uh, some, some yellows in between the reds, all right, don't worry, there, that's good enough, I'm not even gonna bother doing everything, okay, this is what they want, this is what the fans want, this is what they're gonna get, uh, uh, let's just put something really lewd, because I'm pretty sure whoever looks at it is gonna put it in the paper, so let's call it, um, uh, mm, cock, cock, cock and balls. Come get your cock and balls over here! 
Bye, my cock and balls. There he is. Mr. Guy. <laughs> Whoa, put me out of the way, dude. You gotta be like that. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. It's got cross lines, which is good. He sees it. And then he walks away. A study in time. Cock and balls by Matt Shea. It was only recently that I heard of Matt Shea, a quirky young content creator with a passion for memes. As I walk down the crime-stricken alley, I embrace the air of possibility before being entranced by this piece on the table. From a distance, I was struck with the craftsmanship. As I approached the piece, my heart fluttered with excitement as I came closer and ushered in a sense of mirth. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing details of Violet contrasted by the profusion of ebony reminded me of my children. What? Okay. The use of gray tones depict the dullness of life, but also the variety it offers. Oh, and all cock and balls is a good effort. Matt Shea has a lot of potential, and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit his channel in the future. The Critic. Thanks, dude. Embrace passion. Boom. Bye, everybody. I'm embracing passion now. I hope I made it to the right place. Hope I, hope I did good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this shit. And I unlocked a new tool, too. Yeah! It was a wrecking ball! I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to paint Miley Cyrus just, just as a little homage to this. This thing is a freaking dumpster fire, but that's okay. Hello, what's up, everybody? Now, I don't know how to do this, guys. There's all kinds of new shit now I'm supposed to do. Let's just paint something. I'm gonna go find a good spicy meme and we're gonna paint it. Mitch says best Charizard ever, and I gotta say it's really good, and and not because it's really good, but because I can actually do it. I can actually make this because of the fact that it's quite rudimentary. But I'll put something in the background, maybe just to make it pop out a little bit more. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I'm pursuing my passions today. It's great. Don't you love pursuing your passions? I know I do! You know, I think Charizard would probably benefit from having a little fire behind him because, I mean, he is kind of a fire-type Pokemon, you know? These colors are actually perfect as well, guys. You know, all the colors in this picture are also on my palette here, which, which is great. And I had the new tool as well. Wonderful! So now I can do this stuff, huh? I can, I can do that. I got the nice slow tool. I'm gonna not use it right now. Um, let's just get a little bit of a pointy, pointy fire tip thing going here, you know? I don't know how to make flames, man. I've never known how to make flames properly. Boom! We got ourselves some flames in the background. They're not the best flames, but they're my flames, so don't worry about it. And now, to draw the Charizard. What's this? Oh, bills. I don't care about that. I'm rich. This tool is so good, man. It, without this tool, this game would not be the game that it is. You need to have this precision tool because it just feels so much better. And now I can do this. Watch this. You ready? Whoop! Look at that! Oh, it's so good! Oh, oh, shit. Okay, you might want to slow down if you're not the greatest. I'm the greatest, but I should probably also slow down. Don't worry about it, okay? I just want to see who's going to show up here, dude. You know? And I got to find out who I got to impress. Well, I know who I got to impress. It's the creepy looking dude, right? So, yeah, that's fine. We got this, dudes! These tunes are giving me life, guys. I'm not gonna do the outline on the eyes, I think, because it usually makes it look worse. You gotta kinda do the outline first so that you can make the outline smaller, because your brush only gets so small. I wish it could go smaller, but it, you know, that's how it is. Size doesn't matter, it's how you use it. Everyone knows that. I'm afraid this Charizard doesn't look as high as the original Charizard, but he still turned out pretty good. Let's give him some neck wrinkles, shall we? Oop! Oh my, my, I made a mistake! Oh god, it's fine. Definitely a 10 out of 10 painting right here, guys. Who will like it? I do not know, because I do not know how this stuff works. I'll put it behind the dumpster, okay? It's fire on fire. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's you, punk lady. Lacks energy, I don't like it. Well, guess what? You lack energy and I don't like you, so get out. I already impressed you. I'm done with you now. I, I prefer if you didn't exist. See ya. Who else wants to, oh, oh, here he comes. I think this is the guy I need to impress. I'm gonna look it up in a second, guys, and see what he needs, but let's see if he likes this thing, because if he does, oh boy, that would be really cool. I think uh, one of them is a minimalist, and they need, like, not a whole lot. This is a bit too deliberate for my taste, so yeah, I think it's, uh, I think he doesn't like it because of the fact that it's too well done, which is sad, but hey, no, no, this is the guy! This is the guy right here! This is the guy right here! Creepy guy! Creepy guy right there! Yeah, this is the one, right? I think? We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what he thinks of it. What do you think of it, creepy guy? Come over here, creepy guy. What are you doing walking around like this? You think you're a fucking T-Rex or something? Gives me the feeling of being entangled. What? Claude? Claude, what the fuck, dude? 
So you're telling me no one is gonna buy this thing? Oh God, I worked so hard on it, man. That was like several minutes of work, and I thought it was gonna go so well. Let me uh, let me find out what Claude likes, and then we'll make some paintings for Claude. Hang on, guys. I hear that the baguette guy is present in all the acts, so he might actually buy this thing. Overworked on canvas and underworked in brain. I think I'm just gonna experiment. I looked it up. One of them is a minimalist, the other one is an expressionist. An expressionist is just throw some stuff on the canvas and minimalist is just throw some stuff on the canvas, but minimal. Now, one of you guys did actually post and say perfect for minimalist. So I'm gonna look at that one and see what you said. It's a circle with the number seven on it. Okay, now if it works, it works, okay? Well, I guess I'll do a black background maybe. And then a big old number seven. How big can we make that? Oh, we need it bigger. Something like that. And then we're gonna put the number seven in there and we'll see who actually likes this thing, okay? Cause I mean, Jesus, why would they want something with so little work? It's called seven. So I have to sever. Sever is close enough, okay? God, here he comes. He's walking around. He's taking a look. Let's see what he thinks. Oh, he's looking at it. I want something fresh, fresh. I think he might be saying that I'm plagiarizing. The guide that I looked at said that uh, the minimalists are really hard to impress. Stop it! All right, Bacon, you gave me this blue guy. I'm gonna do a really crappy job on that and we'll see how it turns out, okay? Well, it's gonna turn out bad, but that's the whole point, I think, maybe. Bam, there's an eye. He's got a bit of a smiley face going. And that's pretty much it. Let's see how that one does, okay? It's pretty minimal. That's good, good stuff, yep. I got it. Ah, did it. Okay, so this guy, he's a little bit happy with this one. Uh, yeah, 52, I will take it. Now, I guess the number seven isn't good enough. It's not original enough or something, but I guy did the trick. So let's get some more, let's get some more of your suggestions in minimal form. See, I want something fresh, too much expression. Ah! No one told him that he can breathe underwater. What a great looking fish. I bet I could minimal the fuck out of that. All right, boys, let's minimal it up. We got that. Okay, and then we got a little bit of debt. Okay, and we got a fish. Yep, that's right, fish. Fish is coming in. Fish looks like that. Fish got big old balls on it, like that, you know? And then the fish got some eyes in here. That's good, and then pop, uh, pop some people's in and done. There, another great painting by a great painter. This right here proves expression does not require skill. Get out of here, synth. I don't want you to buy that thing. I'm trying to get that guy to buy it. Claude, Claude, buy it. And Charitard has been deleted, guys. I'm sorry to see it go, but if no one wants to buy it, then what else are you gonna do? Stop, stop it, stop it. I wanted Claude to look at that, and now he's leaving, because you keep standing in front of the painting. I am slowly dying. I have 158 bucks left. This is bad, this is real bad. Uh, I bet minimalists would love this, yuck. Okay, so you want expression, and I don't have a whole lot of time before I'm dead, so here, have some expression. Oh, baby, I love it when I just stick shit on the canvas and it comes out looking like ass. That's my favorite thing to do. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that ugly ass shit over here. Look at that ugly shit. Oh, memes do make money. No, not you. Finally, he looked at it and the colors are too vibrant for him. Okay, so that's good to know. I think I think each person is different color like color preferences or something. Oh, I don't want to die, man. I really don't want to die. What else am I going to do here? Ugh. Superb critique of humanity. Yes, and 55 euros is mine. One more painting sold and I won't starve to death. Hey, check it out. This is another minimalist one. I'm going to give it a try. It just says incorrect on it. Good, I can do that. Incorrect with an X. Boom. Buy it. What do you think, dude? These pesky expressionists like poorly thought out paintings. They would love this one. I don't know what's going on, man. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. How does that work? Do I just restart again? I think they just put me back. They just like reset my progress or something. I don't know. Look at this Kermit the Frog, guys. That's a nice Kermit the Frog. Let's make it. Kermit the Frog here. Looking good, Kermit the Frog. Beautiful. Wow, we. Who wants it? Shrek plus that alien thing from Monsters Inc. Beautiful. Memes make money! I'll take it. I'm very- oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, fine. Just get it out of my sight. Oh, I hate you. I'm trying not to use too many colors here, guys. They don't like it when you use too many colors, okay? So just a couple of colors for me. And hopefully, hopefully that's good enough. It's all about that minimalism, bro! I should probably add a little bit of background or something to it, but... That's a thing. Is that a Dr. Phil Eminem? I love it. Thank you, Rachel. 
Just gotta keep painting. If I don't paint, I will die. Oh, bills are coming, guys. Bills are coming, and I'm not ready for those bills because I am so broke. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, shit. How do I do this? How the hell do I get past this part? You killed me. I'm dead. Ah, oh, my entire life is one big dumpster fire. Look at all those paintings. They're all burning. You can see a sheep pie down there. And so it came to pass. And then it came to part. And then it came to two. Lost and alone. That's me. No money nor fame. That's me. Another forgotten name. Yeah, nobody likes me. What the hell? No! No! You deleted my save? I'm done? Is, is easy as that really? Because I couldn't make enough paintings to survive? It's not my fault. Nobody wants to pay money for my paintings. Oh, shit. Shit, what the hell do I do now? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus, Jesus Christ. I lost it all! Ugh. My life was one giant lie. This was a very strikingly real tale of my inevitable demise on YouTube. My life's over, dude. I don't know, I don't know where to go from here. You know how long it took me just to get through the first chapter of this game? And now everything just comes crashing down on me. Whew. Alright then. I think I'm just gonna go to Act 2. Do a little bit of endless mode, guys, because you got a lot of really good suggestions there, and oh, I don't know what to do with them. You know, I, don't, I <sighs> shit. But at least here, people appreciate good, good art. Okay, because I went when you go through the people don't appreciate good art phase. When you go through there, it's a lot harder because nobody gives you any money for your stuff. You know, but but you make crappy paintings for the Trumps, and they're like, wow, dude, here, have a million dollars or some shit. Just a small loan. Of course, but you know, I have it. Guys, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll have to try and get back to where I was, and we'll try and continue on. I'm sorry, man. I I am just as upset about this as you are. Probably more, okay? Because this is my time gone down the drain here. You just get to sit back and watch an edited video with all the crap taken out. A little bit of crap left in. You know what I mean. But anyway, yeah, shit. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do some more painting, all right? You all know this is coming, obviously. I mean, Logan Paul needs to be painted now. So, um, I'm not gonna paint a dead body in here. I'm just gonna paint him looking at some memes. I might even do a bunch, you know, just a, a showcase of Logan Paul looking at different memes. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. I think this is a really good drawing of Rick. So I'm gonna paint it. You see guys, the first series I did on this, it took a lot more concentration and I really tried hard on the paintings. But then, unfortunately, I couldn't really do that when I was trying to do the other ending. Because they didn't want that. Now, the minimalists, like, trying to do the minimalist ending means you can't even, you can't even do anything. You can't do good paintings. You just gotta try and throw things together and see if it sells. And I don't really know how it's supposed to work when you can't actually, you know, make any money off what you're doing. And if it's minimal, I would assume that means you can't spend a lot of time on it, but maybe you should anyway. I, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Whatever. Okay, whatever, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it here. I'm gonna make some stuff. I'm thinking maybe when you do minimalist, maybe you don't really need to go full on rush. Maybe you can just take your time a little bit more than I did. Perhaps that would have worked. Uh, you know, it's kind of confusing. They don't really tell you all that much. You just kind of gotta try and find out. But yeah, I failed, and I'm upset about that. But I'm I'm just I'm just trying to move out my life now. All right, so the main part is done. We got all this room left over here, so let's throw a Logan Paul in there. It makes everything better, right? Just a, a throw a Logan Paul in it. I don't have a whole lot of color options, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Let's put the backpack in there. Good. And we got a little bit of a hoodie going on here. You know, that merch selling like a god church. I know that Jake and Logan are not the same person. Don't worry about it. Okay, they basically are. What is it with YouTubers making really dumb mistakes while wearing stupid hats? I mean, PewDiePie was wearing those cat ears when he said the N-word. Now Logan Paul's wearing this stupid hat while he's out in the forest filming dead bodies. Like, wow, stop. All right, so on one side, we got Rich, you know, from Rich and Mordo. Best, best television show. And we got a very surprised Logan Paul on the other side. He doesn't know what he's looking at, but he knows it's gonna get views. Boom. Skillfully made. Oh, thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. 182. Yeah, you can have it. You can have it, dude. It's yours. 
Let's find some more things you guys want me to paint, and I'll stick a Logan Paul in it! Seriously, I have not watched any of the new Star Wars movies, but this guy, this Kylo Ren guy, he seems to have a lot of memes. Sorry, y'all. The paintings are sold out until further notice. I'll let you know when they're back again. <laughs> as soon as I'm done making this Kylo Ren guy, we're gonna spray on his tits, guys. I think that's the best way to do it. See? Oh, look at those titties, man. Yes! Yes, this is perfect. Put a little nip-nip in there. Yeah, uh-huh. And another one. Oh! Oh, yeah! Logan Paul's jacket's a little bit blue, guys, so let's go with a blue jacket this time. I'm gonna slowly improve my Logan Paul over time, obviously. You know, he's, he's gonna keep getting better. I'm even spray painting his hair this time, guys, to give it a little bit more oomph, you know? You're welcome. That's right, this time he even has lips, guys. I am going all out on this Logan Paul. Sorry to the previous Logan Paul, but you're just not as good as this one. All right, I'm gonna try and do the thin lines, guys, because you can do that. Look at, man, you click on that, and my dude does all kinds of crazy shit. I love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, trying to do little thin lines, you know, you gotta gotta make a line and then draw over most of the line But I think it gives his mouth more of a <gasps> kind of look, you know, and I think he needs just a little bit of teeth well, That's gonna be hard to do too. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to write over those teeth again. I think oh god You look terrible Logan and so does the painting ha! Logan Paul number two taking a big old look at Kylo Ren Logan finds a Kylo Okay, boom how do you how do you like that one, Don? Uh, can't invest in this much detail. Of course, I understand, dude. I totally get it. I'm really sorry that I made you come all the way over here, but George is here. George knows what's up. George got good taste. Wee oui, wee. Oui. This should get many likes. <laughs> yeah, damn right it should. 368 euros for me. Woo! That Logan Paul man, he knows how to get me some likes. Hey, guys, did I ask you to like the video yet? The last video got like 10,000 likes, which was pretty freaking great. Thank you. Man, these Logan Paul paintings are selling faster than I can make them. Whew. Jesus, Mike. What the hell are you into, dude? You can't just be showing me these naked M&Ms. Next thing you know, I'm gonna get demonetized. Whew. What the hell is this? It's a butt with a graduation hat on it. I feel like I've seen it before. I've definitely seen it before, but I don't know where, but I'm gonna draw it now. This one's definitely getting a forest background, guys, because the last one didn't, all right? Gotta make it nice and foresty. Where else is a graduation butt gonna go? Man, the amount of detail in this butt is really throwing me off. I don't know how to make this look good. Oh, with the colors, man, it's so hard sometimes. What is this thing? I gotta outline it before it's too late. Oh no, guys, Logan Paul's hat blends perfectly in with the, uh, the grass on the ground. Not good. Such a bad mistake from this artist over here, this professional artist. We're gonna go more surreal this time, guys, all right? I want this to really pop out. I want this to be real surprise this time. I mean, who expects to find a butt in the forest, right? Who expects to find a big old pink butt with a graduation hat on in the forest? Nobody. Every Logan Paul is so different, but they're all so unique at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, what am I gonna call this one? I don't I don't know what I'm gonna call it. It's, Lo it's Logan Paul, L L Logan finds a butt. Okay, because that's where he found a butt in the forest. It was, it was just hanging out in there. He had no idea it was going to be there. Boom! It, it, it didn't take any time for this guy to buy it. He was standing out waiting. He's like, when is the next Logan Paul painting going to be ready? I need to buy it right now. Ah! Okay, I don't know if maybe someone else would have bought it too, but George, it's yours, dude. Let's go ahead. Take it home. Add it to your collection. How many have you bought for me now? It's at least two, right? Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Let's draw my chin. My chin versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul finds my chin. Ooh, this is gonna be my best one yet, guys. Okay, you heard it here first. All right, what a beautiful chin that is, guys. Now let's move on to the Logan Paul. And there you have it. Logan Paul finds my chin. Mmm, okay, this is a good one. I'm gonna give a full name. Logan Paul. Finds my chin. What a what a painting! Dude's already over for a look. I'm only selling this one to George though, okay? Because he's starting to collect. Here he comes! Here he comes! Yeah! Get over here, dude! Take a look at this shit! I think his name is George. Is your name George, dude? George, wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> oh my god! Every time I sell a painting to him, it's just more money. Thirteen hundred and five euros for this one, dude. Thank you so much. Ah! Ah! If you haven't watched my chin video, guys, it's old now, but people have been begging me to do another one, and I'm thinking about it. 
but I feel like I could never really recreate the original masterpiece, you know. But if you want to see it, I'll try and leave a link somewhere, you know. Uh, sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. And I think I'm going to end it here, okay? I think we've done enough today. I mean, Jesus, I've been here for an hour and a half making paintings, struggling as an artist, and then failing, and then fucking around for a little bit and making fun of Logan Paul. Good times all around. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.